I didn't really know what to expect heading out to the stores today because Texas is still definitely struggling with being able to keep their shelves stocked with food. But as soon as I walked through the doors, I knew that it was Trader Joe's for the win. What is up you guys? Happy Monday. If it is Monday, that means it is grocery haul and meal plan day. So my name is Kira if you are new and every Monday here on the channel I share a grocery haul and meal plan and this week I headed over to Trader Joe's. I really thought that was going to be my best bet just because there's not a whole bunch of Trader Joe's in my area so it's not like the trucks that are able to get in here. Now the roads are clear. It's not like they're going to be just dispersing or sharing their products with multiple stores. At least the food trucks that are coming in are literally just distributing to our just few local Trader Joe's. So I went there with my fingers crossed, hoping that the shelves were going to be stocked and that we were gonna be able to get everything that we needed because it is still a struggle. If you go on the Walmart app, the Target app, everybody is still sold out of everything or there's limits on everything because after the storm, it was just hard for everyone to kind of keep everything replenished but I don't even know what I bought you guys I kind of walked around in a fog I forgot my list which is probably like the third fourth time in a row that I've done that so going in with no list I had a meal plan which was good but no list so what's the difference of having a meal plan if you go in with no list but it was just enjoyable to kind of be inside of the store. It was pretty much empty. There was nobody in there. So I just enjoyed being out of the house. The grocery store is the only place that I go when I go out. So I just kind of walked around and looked at all the new things. I have so many new things to share with you guys. New to Trader Joe's, new to me, just a lot of good stuff. So I have my receipt here and we're going to go ahead and get down and dirty. So let me take you down to the counter. I will pop up the prices for you guys and I'll share with you what I got at Trader Joe's this month for $191. Okay, you guys, so here is your quick overview of what I spent $191 on at Trader Joe's today. And I have some stuff all the way in the back. So once I do what's here up front, I'll wrap myself around and show you what is back there. So let's start off with some staples, I guess. We really do like the restaurant style white corn tortilla chips. And I like to have these kinds of chips on hand just because we do some kind of Tex-Mex kind of meal at least once a week. So I like to have those on hand. I grabbed those and I feel like this is going to be a staple now. So this is the everything but the bagel seasoned kettle cooked potato chips and both my oldest and my youngest absolutely love them. I thought they were pretty good too. They really grew on me. My last Trader Joe's haul I did a taste test so I'll link it up above if you guys want to check it out. I think they are really really good. I just feel like they need something else. I really enjoyed them with dip. I've since made dip because I bought two bags last time and we tried it with dip and it was fantastic with the dip. I just felt like it needed just a little something. It was a little overbearing, but they grow on you the more you eat them. So we like them. Got them again, especially like I said, for my oldest and my youngest. And of course I got the white cheddar corn puffs. We did try the sour cream and onion ones last time, but the kids really like the sour cream and onion ones that we get from Sam. So I just got the white cheddar this time. I got the tri-color seedless grapes again. I think I got these from Trader Joe's the last time as well. And the kids really like the variety of flavors and they just tear through grapes, especially now that Jake has been enjoying grapes more than he used to. So I like to keep this on hand for them. So grab them some grapes and then holy cheese, you guys. I do have some more veggies back there, but we're kind of coming in front where I put the cheeses. I kind of was falling in love with the cheese at Trader Joe's this time and they had so many new kinds of things. And so this is an Irish Porter cheddar cheese and you can see it has the shamrock on it because it's meant for St. Patrick's Day. So I think I'm going to make like a 
porter cheddar cheese sauce out of this almost like a queso but more to dunk things like pretzels and stuff in i thought that really had a saint patrick's day feel it's my husband's favorite holiday and he's going to be home on saint patrick's day this year so i thought that would be really awesome just to kind of do like a nice cheesy dip with pretzels and veggies almost like a fondue with this kind of cheese so i got that and then of course i got the shaved parmesan romano and asiago cheese we love this stuff and it is absolutely amazing. So I did grab that. Uh, I grabbed this salad kit. This is new to me. This one says romaine lettuce, shredded broccoli stalks, radicchio, celery, seasoned flatbread strips, feta cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, roasted chickpeas, and a red wine vinaigrette. I don't know why it sounded so good. It said Mediterranean style salad kit and I've really had the Mediterranean flavors on the brain lately. So that sounded good. I will let you guys know how that is. And then I did also pick up this their Caesar style salad kit. It's just regular romaine lettuce and then it comes with croutons and shredded Parmesan cheese and a really, really yummy dressing. So we're going to use that on Friday when we do our baked tortellini. We, I'm doing a tortellini bake and I thought that would be really good alongside of that. So I grabbed that and then I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of bananas for Mason. I can reach this though. So this is the Trader Joe's Yellow Cling Peach Halves and Wipe Grape Juice. Jake said he's been craving peach halves. So I went ahead and grabbed a jar of that for him. And then I got two things of yogurt. So I got the raspberry cream and lemon yogurt cups. Again, this doesn't expire until April 6th. So this gives me a long time to eat it. My kids didn't really like this one as much. I did, but they didn't. It's very, they're very tart but they're also sweet. This is definitely not like a low sugar kind of yogurt. This is definitely more of a sweet treat, a snack. I wouldn't even really treat this as a breakfast because of how sweet they are. Let's see what the sugars are in this. Total sugars, 16 sugars with 12 added sugars. Oh, my goodness, that's a sick ton amount of sugar, but they're so good. And I definitely would treat it as a treat, but like I said, my kids didn't like it. So I got this one for me. I don't go to Trader Joe's too often. It's been like six weeks since I've been. So this is mama's treat, the raspberry and the Meyer lemon yogurt. But my kids do like these. So this one is two banana, two strawberry, and then a strawberry banana. So they thought that was really awesome that they got a chance to try all different flavors like a strawberries and cream, a bananas and cream, and then a strawberry bananas and cream. So they liked that one last time. So I went ahead and got those again. I did get the organic mixed medley cherry tomatoes. These looked really ripe and really good, but I bought this with the idea of making that viral TikTok recipe in mind, the one with the feta cheese. They didn't have a full block of feta or I would have bought it just to try it. Even if I made it for lunch, and I ate it. I think Paul would eat it. He likes feta cheese. Maybe the little kids would try. Daryl's not one for feta, but then you have Paul who doesn't like tomatoes. So I feel like that recipe wouldn't really fit us. You're also supposed to mix in spinach, which I think only I would like. I don't know. I think I kind of want to switch it up, but still use the base concept idea of the recipe. So if you guys don't know what it is, you're supposed to put tomatoes in like a baking dish along with a piece of feta and put garlic and oil and salt and pepper and then bake it in the oven and the feta gets really creamy and smooth and you mix the tomatoes and that creamy cheese and the oil and the garlic and everything together and then you mix in pasta and spinach and it's supposed to be this phenomenal thing and like I said it's gone viral so I bought this in case I want to make it but try something different so this is the Borson garlic and fine herbs cheese. So the whole concept of using a block of feta is because you want to use a soft cheese. So when you bake it, it gets creamy in the oven. Well, this is one of those cheeses that's almost like a spreadable. So I think this would bake really well. And I think garlic and fine herbs would go really good with the tomatoes and the veggies and stuff. So I think I want to try and use that for that. I don't know. Stay tuned. And then I saw this and I love any kind of cheese with dill. I just love dill. I love the fresh herb flavor of dill. And this is Havarti cheese 
with dill. So I'm already excited about cutting this up and putting it in the refrigerator so I can kind of use it as a snack for myself. And then I've never seen this before. This says shredded pizza seasoned Toscano cheese. And it says sprinkle on pizzas and salads, seasoned to perfection, great for melting. So I thought that was pretty neat. This is perfect for a pizza. So I went ahead and got that and then I got Trader Joe's tzatziki sauce. I can make this myself, but I just figured it'd be so much easier for me to grab it because I got that lamb gyro meat from Sam's Club. I think it's Sam's or Costco, one of them. You guys asked me to give you a review on how they are, and I haven't even tried them yet because you can't have it without tzatziki. I've not had time to make it, so I just went ahead and grabbed this, and then tomorrow I plan on treating myself and defrosting some flatbread that I have in the freezer and making myself a gyro or gyro, however you say it. All right, we're gonna come back here to some sweet treats. So this is also new. This is the Aussie style chocolate cream sandwich cookies coated in chocolate. So I'm not even sure what that really looks like. It almost looks like a Kit Kat kind of. I don't know. I can't really explain it, but there's only 11 cookies in there. So they're probably really big, um, but I definitely want to give those a try because they looked really, really good. I love trying the new things because they always have such delicious new things. And then these are dark chocolate chunk and almond cookies. So comment down below and let me know if you guys have ever seen these ones before. These were looked new to me. And they say these all butter crispy cookies are made with lots of dark chocolate chunks and California almond pieces. And dark chocolate and almonds, all of that, like those... Those are my flavors. So I got those. I got some of the Trader Joe's Mexican style roasted corn. They didn't have any corn on the cob and we're doing something on the grill this week. And I was kind of in the mood for grilled corn on the cob, but they didn't have it. And had I had gotten or found corn on the cob, I would have made Mexican style street corn. Have you guys ever tried that before? But it is literally fantastic. One of the best things I've ever had. And I have gotten this before. It's not as great as doing it fresh, but it'll still give me that Mexican street corn flavor that I want alongside of my steak on the grill. So I grabbed that. And then my friend Vanessa over at Vanessa White Randomness, well, she has two channels now. She has one channel where she just does a lot of like food reviews and mukbangs and things. And she has been raving about all these gyoza things. And she just did a really yummy like apple pie stuffed egg roll all by like a gyoza brand. So I've kind of had like pot stickers and stuff on the brain. So when I saw the one from Trader Joe's, I grabbed them and it's just a pork and vegetable dumpling. And I steamed these and then I crisp them up and they are super, super good. So we're going to have that with that one day this week. So I'm excited. All right. Something else I mentioned that we're doing with that salad. We're doing a tortellini bake. I did get a big thing of tortellini from Target because I wasn't sure what I was going to be able to find at Trader Joe's. And I'm kind of glad that I did because these are still really small packages. Even though it says it's 10 ounces and eight ounces, these don't really puff up that much. So to be honest, I feel like my little kids would probably split something like this. I feel like Jake probably could eat something like this just himself. So I'm kind of glad that I got a variety because I'm going to mix these all together. So this is just Trader Joe's plain cheese tortellini. And then I got their organic Italian four cheese. And then I think I got the Bertoli four cheese or something like that. So I'm going to mix these all together and just do one big large tray of this tortellini bake. And then we'll have, you know, a ton for leftovers and lunches and things like that. Of course, I got the mandarin orange chicken. Actually, I shouldn't say of course. I haven't gotten this every single time lately, but I did get it last time and we really enjoyed having it because it had been so long since we got it. So we're gonna do this one night this week with pork fried rice and I have some egg rolls in the freezer and the pot stickers and it'll be a nice like Chinese takeout night. So grabbed that. I did get my organic cauliflower. I love the rainbow cauliflower from Trader Joe's. This stuff is literally the sweetest, most naturally tasting vegetable ever. Like I've never cooked a vegetable where I didn't feel like I needed to add butter or something to it to make it more flavorful. This is just flavorful all on its own, just steamed on a plate. It's so, so good. So I went ahead and got that. And then I found these. I don't know if I've ever seen these before. I think they're new because they were on the end cap, but maybe they're left over from being on the end cap from Valentine's Day or something. But this is dark chocolate 
chocolate covered cherries and I know that Paul really really enjoys these so I'm already starting with the mental mindset of putting stuff away for Easter or through Valentine's Day and the next holiday is St. Patrick's Day so I'm obviously stocking up for my hubby for that and then right after that Easter will be right on its coattails so I grabbed this to start putting things away for that and then I did get these for Jacob again these are the chewy chocolate and peanut butter protein bars I got them for him last time and he really enjoyed them so I went ahead and got those for him again all right back up front I did grab some soups this is completely new to me but not new to Trader Joe's they're always there I don't know what possessed me to pick them up this time it's a very very cold today you guys can see that I'm in a long sleeve sweater I'm actually excited about it because these are all the new clothes that I got from Stitch Fix that I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to wear because it was already 80 in Texas and then we got a little snow pop but I didn't go anywhere so I didn't put on any nice clothes and then all of a sudden I got nice again and literally on Saturday I posted that it was 80 and now today it's 50 and rainy and dark and gloomy and cold so I threw on a nice cozy sweater and I had soup on the brain and the unexpected broccoli cheddar soup what I didn't even know what unexpected cheddar was until I got that harvest salad from them which they did not have this time i knew it was going to fade out but they didn't have it and it has the unexpected cheddar in it which is probably the best cheddar i've ever had and if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't have even known what it was but you filled the comments with how good it is so when i saw unexpected broccoli cheddar cheese soup it just it jumped in my cart i didn't do it it just it hopped in there all by itself so i grabbed that and then new england clam chowder so Paul requested this for his birthday with shrimp and it was good but we kind of missed our red lobster visit and I don't see us going anytime soon but we still have leftover shrimp so I picked up this clam chowder and figured maybe we can do another you know mock trip to let red lobster and just kind of fulfill our need because I'm definitely craving like a sit down lunch out with your best friend having a drink eating your favorite foods and I just don't foresee that happening anytime soon right now. Uh, got some of the Trader Joe's Golden Round Crackers. These are like Ritz and we absolutely love them. I got two of the Neokis. I got them both for Jake last time and he was just ecstatic that I got him both. So I did it again. So I got the Neoki a la Sorrentina and this is more of a red sauce and cheese Neoki. And then you have the Neoki a la Gorgonzola, which is a white base, which is actually his favorite but he definitely enjoys them both and he can make them himself. So, so he likes being able to have that as a fallback meal when we're eating something he doesn't like. We are out of barbecue sauce and I absolutely love Trader Joe's organic Kansas City style barbecue sauce. It is super delicious. And even in the latest cookbook that we just put out, Vanessa and I over at Lemonade Mom, I made a recipe, an appetizer using barbecue sauce and I prefer to use this one because it makes that recipe just oh so good and today is actually the last day you guys can pre-order since we've gone to hardcover so my email is in the description box if you guys want to go ahead and send me an email and we can invoice you for a pre-order otherwise starting tomorrow it'll be available on amazon for full price but it is packed with appetizers desserts and drinks and the appetizer that uses this barbecue sauce is absolutely phenomenal so keep an eye out for that all of your links and information that you need will be in the description box all right I've never seen this before. Maybe they've had it before. And if they had it, I probably would have passed it right by because I don't know what Stag Chili is. I'm not sure if that's a brand, if that is a kind, I don't know. But again, my friend Vanessa over at Vanessa White Randomness for her main channel, she did a what's for dinner and she shared a chili recipe. And she said that part of her chili recipe was to add a can of stag chili to her chili recipe and she said that she's actually won awards i mean she added chocolate and beer and all that stuff and it was super delicious i'll link that what's for dinner video for you guys down below if you want to check it out but her chili just sounded so good and she said this was one of her secret ingredients so i grabbed that because i'm going to make some chili next week I grabbed some of the Trader Joe's hash browns. We haven't had these in a long time because I've been getting those shredded ones that are like the Waffle House, but my family really likes these too. So I grabbed them just to kind of switch things up a little bit. 
I always check out Trader Joe's seasonings and I saw one I hadn't seen before and this was a Cuban style citrusy garlic which sounds really good this like sounds like something that would be really good on chicken that you're gonna grill on the barbecue so I grabbed that because I feel like that season's coming right I can get excited we're gonna blink before we know it and the spring and summertime is gonna be here so I grabbed that I grabbed a can of the Cuban style black beans. I absolutely love them. They are seasoned so, so yummy. And I like to serve that alongside of like Tex-Mex nights and we're having chicken fajitas tomorrow. So I think I'm going to heat those up on the side so I can put that on my fajita. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, all right, so this was new and I almost missed it. And then as I was walking out the door, it kind of caught my eye because it was a big sign. And I don't know how I missed it when I walked in, but at least I saw it when I was walking out. So this is a Trader Joe's Alfredo sauce, but it has a lemon undertone. And that sounds so stinking amazing to me because we love Alfredo here, but I feel like a lemon flavor would be nice and bright and something that sounds really good for springtime, like just kind of bringing in those warm weather flavors. So I'm excited to go ahead and give that a try. So over here, I picked this up. This is something I hadn't seen before either. And I've been really into these, especially putting them in my purse or using them at night. But these are Aromatherapy Mood Odyssey Essential Oil Roller Blends. And there's four roller bottles in here. A Bliss, a Relax, an Awake, and a Sleep. So I thought those were pretty neat. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I did a, a pasta stock up. I love a Trader Joe's pasta and they're extremely inexpensive. All of their Trader Joe's ones are only 99 cents. So 99 cents for the penne, 99 cents for the facility, and then 99 cents for the spaghetti. So grabbed that. And then way down here, squoze in between those pastas, is a Italian tomato paste. And I love their tomato paste because it comes in a tube. And I feel like I always need just a little paste and I never need a huge can unless I'm making chili. That's the only time I ever use like a full can of paste. So I like to have this on hand so I can use that for recipes when I need it. Before we go back there to the last few things, I have some things over there and some things over there. I just wanted to share with you my flowers. I went back to traditional. You guys, I know last month I kind of switched it up a little bit and I tried something different, but this time I walked in there, the hydrangeas, they're good and tight. And I like to buy the flowers from there that are really, you know, as tight as possible because that means they haven't opened yet. And Trader Joe's has a fairly decent longevity on their flowers as long as you don't get ones that don't have too much life left to them. So I spent a little time over there kind of checking out the flowers, making sure I found ones that were the best possible. So I grabbed the white hydrangeas and then I grabbed a different filler piece this time. Usually I grab eucalyptus. I wasn't really feeling their eucalyptus. So I grabbed this little like, I don't even know, it's almost like a fern kind of thing, but I thought that would look nice along with this. And then both my son and my husband each bought me a bouquet of flowers for Valentine's Day. And some of them are dead, like these roses need to be pulled out, but some of the white daisies are still in good shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that vase and take all the old flowers out and throw them away and then add what is still healthy to this. So everything should look really good once I pull it all together. All right, I did go ahead and get these plantain croutons. The girl over at Trader Joe's list on Instagram, this is in her like top five things from Trader Joe's. Now she is vegetarian or vegan, so she does eat a different style of food from there, but literally her job is to go to Trader Joe's and to try things. So for this to be in her top five, I was very curious and it says with it's with garlic and sea salt and they're gluten-free and vegan. I'm not really one for plantains, but we shall see. She didn't say they tasted like plantains. She said they tasted like garlic and sea salt croutons. So I'm super curious. And then speaking of hubby and St. Patrick's Day, uh, I saw this Trader Joe's beer bread and it says just add beer and butter. And that sounds so, so good. And even maybe something that he'll wanna dunk in that yummy cheese. So I grabbed that. And then the last a few things that I got was some meats and some bread. So I've actually not bought the chicken breasts from Trader Joe's for a very long time because this used to be fairly reasonably priced along with their ground beef and over the years, they've jacked this up. I've probably been going to Trader Joe's about maybe 12 or 15 years. I was going to Trader Joe's when I lived 
lived on Long Island long before I even moved. So their ground beef used to be like under $1.99 a pound, their chicken cutlets, but with inflation and times and as popular as they've gotten, they've really raised their prices. So I usually stick to places like Sam's and Costco, bulk stores, Walmart has a decent chicken for a good price, but I need it this week and I'm not going anywhere else. And I didn't inventory properly and I realized I need more chicken than I had in my freezer. So I just went ahead and got this. It was a $9.52 for three and a half pounds, which kind of kills me. Uh, I could probably get a whole nother meal and a half for the same price if I got it somewhere else. But like I said, I'm just trying to limit where I was going and it's good quality chicken breast. So I can't really complain. Speaking of good quality chicken, this is my husband's favorite chicken thighs. Like I try to buy them other places and he just knows that they're not Trader Joe's because the quality is so on point here. Again, a little pricey because it's $4 a pound for chicken thighs, which usually they are the cheaper of the chickens because it's, you know, the dark meat. So it's not as quality, so to say, as white meat. But this is, they're all natural, no antibiotics, all vegetarian fed. So of course that jacks the price up just a little bit. So this one was $7.22 and that one was $6. So it's $13 just to uh, get the chicken in the crock pot for when we do Mississippi chicken. This used to be a cost effective meal. I even did a challenge once on make a meal for your family for under $10 and I made Mississippi chicken because one package of chicken used to be enough to feed my family. So just this would be good with the ingredients that you put in the crock pot and then I made mashed potatoes and a vegetable alongside of it and I was able to keep the cost down under $10. That's not the case anymore now that my family has grown so much. We are a family of six. So it does go pretty fast. These shrink when you cook them. So if my husband eats two pieces and I eat two pieces, then this is already one package. So we definitely need to, but if you have not tried Mississippi chicken, I'll link that recipe. You won't want to miss it. It's super, super yummy. Uh, all right, last two things. And one of them is the flatbread pizza crust. I love this stuff, you guys. It's some of the best flatbread I have ever, ever tried. It does say best to buy three, three. So I only have a couple of days to use it, but it freezes amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead today and throw it in the freezer. And that is a really quick meal that I can pull out if I forgot to defrost something or if the kids don't like anything. You can just go ahead. That defrosts in literally no time flat and then it's pretty much already cooked. I stick it in the oven for just a couple of minutes to start getting crispy and then you throw the toppings on and put it in until your cheese melts and you have the best pizza. So if you've not tried their pizza crust, I recommend that and I also recommend their ciabatta baguette. This is so, so good. Sometimes I use it for croutons. Sometimes Sometimes I'll cut it in half and just use it for separate portions. Like it's almost like putting a mini loaf of bread in the oven if you're serving it with pasta or something. Like I'll cut it in half and then throw it in the oven on 300 and just let it get warm. And then I slice it up and everybody will have a piece with dinner. But oh, it is so crispy and delicious when it's all hot out of the oven. And it's even better when you use it with croutons. But all right, you guys, I think that was it. That was my $191. So now let's get into this week's meal plan all right you guys so here is the meal plan for today monday march the first we're in march already and wasn't it just christmas it was right i don't even know i feel like i was just put out my last vlogmas video and here we are at march but that is also through sunday march the 7th so for today we're doing mini beef wellingtons. I'm very excited about this recipe. I talked about it in my Target haul that I put out on Saturday. So if you guys missed that, I'll link it for you. But I'll also pop the recipe up right here for you guys to see. And I'll link the Pinterest link in the description box. But I am very, very, very excited about this. You use ground beef, so you're not using like super high quality meat. But I don't even know if my family is going to like a beef wellington. I'm just kind of craving it. And so I think that if they try it and they like it, maybe Easter... I'll get a really nice piece of meat and I'll make beef wellington the way that it's supposed to be if I know everybody will eat it like for a nice Easter dinner or something. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. 
Uh, I mentioned tomorrow we're going to do chicken fajitas, and I always serve just nacho chips along any kind of Tex-Mex meal, so I'm excited about that. We have peppers and onions that we need to use up and some chicken that we need to use up, so that'll work out great. On Wednesday, we're going to do shake and bake pork chops. I got some pretty yummy looking pork chops from Sam's Club a couple of weeks ago, so I know that hubby is going to enjoy that. Sometimes I'll put the pork chops in the crock pot for him and he really likes that too that's what I did a couple of weeks ago with saucy Susan which is like an apricot duck sauce sweet and sour kind of glaze and orange juice and brown sugar and everything and those were super good he likes it like that also but I think his all-time favorite pork chop is just straight up shake and bake and now we're doing that with noodles and carrots and this kind of screams a childhood meal for me as well because my mom always used shake and bake growing up especially on pork chops so that would be something that she would serve like pork chops with noodles carrots I don't know that's like applesauce on the side so I know everyone's going to enjoy that on Wednesday my kids love the noodles with the applesauce and I think they'll enjoy the pork chops as well uh, on Thursday, we're going to do another new recipe. So again, check the description box because I'll have them all linked. But it's bacon brown sugar chicken tenders. It just sounds so good. It's like a nice piece of chicken that you like wrap bacon around and roll it in brown sugar and bacon in the oven. It sounds so, so good. Pinterest has got me like, whoa, lately. So uh, we're going to have that with some French fries and some green beans. On Friday, there's that baked tortellini. I found that recipe on Pinterest. Just, I don't know, I feel so uninspired lately. I don't wanna do what we always do. I wanna find new recipes and then like I find them and I don't know if my family is going to like them, but I'm really trying to, I'm trying to push the envelope a little bit. That's why I put the why not sticker. Like why not do all of these recipes like a mini beef wellington and a bacon brown sugar and a baked tortellini like these are three new recipes of this week but why not like push the envelope and let's give it a try so i'm excited for that one as well and we'll do it with the caesar salad kit so yum 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 and then on saturday is pretty much the only nice day i put a lightning bolt here because it is seriously they're predicting rain and dark gray gloomy overcast for like the next week and a half or two weeks we have maybe two days out of the next 10 day forecast that has no rain in it and is warm enough to stand outside and go on to the barbecue so on saturday is one of those days fingers crossed the weather doesn't change it is obviously completely unpredictable here in texas but we're gonna do a steak on the grill with baked potatoes on the grill like i'm gonna roll them in some tin foil and stuff cook the potatoes right on the grill and then we'll have that mexican street corn which sounds so so good and on sunday nice simple meal that mandarin chicken from trader joe's with the fried rice the egg rolls the pot stickers because i have a lot of meal prep coming up that i'm going to be sharing with you guys some new recipes a big breakfast meal prep a dessert video where i'm making my own snowballs where i'm making almond uh, cupcakes like amaretto almost flavored cupcakes and then i'm also making like a chocolate covered cherry bomb like so many different yummy dessert recipes that are coming up so i put my little baking apron there because this week is going to be filled with cooking in the kitchen but but we're going to do it. We're going to make it because why not, right? So that is it, you guys, for another grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new because I do put out a grocery haul and meal plan every Monday here on the channel. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.